Hello everyone, welcome to this special lecture on introduction to Python course. This course is useful for people in water resources engineering, environmental engineering, civil or working in any field of GIS or remote sensing and want to do their things with a perspective of coding. So this is the lecture number one of this series. So this is the overall overview of what we are going to learn in this lecture. First we will have a brief introduction and then why we do we need coding or Python. Then the course outcomes. Then we will learn how to install Python in our system and then we will try to write our first code. So without any delay, let's start. So coding actually has emerged as the number one in demand skill in the recent years. So whether you are going for a job, higher studies or a PhD, this is the one thing that is required almost everywhere. It not just uh, reduces our time of doing things but has also many other advantages such as one of the things we learn in this course is how to use python to plot data as you well know raw data itself is not particularly useful in understanding you what the data shows let us have a look at the example that might be familiar to you so this is a global temperature data now that's exciting right but there's an interesting story here we need some way to illustrate the power of this data because this data in itself is not showing some some changes or i think it's very cluttered so one of the option is to use an xy plot of temperature anomalies versus time and when we do that this is how it looks so this is obviously much better and it is showing how temperatures have changed with time and how global temperature have increased significantly since the 1970s so now we see a clear step towards making data easier to understand However, this is global data and we are missing something important about this data that is its connection to the geographical locations. Okay, so we want to see what is the variation of this data geographically. So let us consider another option. Let us plot this uh, temperature anomalies on a map and then this is how it looks. Uh, again, this helps us understand the data further and here uh, not only we see the change temperature but now we also see how the temperatures uh, vary across the globe. Again, the drawback here is that we only see a single time snapshot rather than a time series. So to see both, it will require a truly uh, remarkable visualization. Therefore, uh, let's have a look at some excellent examples of data visualization with Python. So we have essentially the same data plotted above, but now we can see how temperatures vary in space. So see this. This animated uh, plot of temperature anomalies conveys a huge information. Uh, in the simplest form, people can immediately understand what is plotted and the combination of the plot, format, colors and animations are very effective. And what's even better is the fact that this animation itself was made using Python. Okay, another simple example uh, of the similar data uh, can be if we are able to predict the future using the given data then if we do that uh, this is how it will look now this plot nicely conveys the warming of different regions on the earth again in a very intuitive form and for the rest of the part of this course uh, plots like that can be our inspiration so in this course we will be learning a lot about this so let's continue 
now again to do coding we have various languages then why only we choose python so the difference is quite visible on your screens if we write a code to print a word in c language we need to write this much of code right uh, again if we write uh, that thing in c++ we the length is this much but in python it's so easy just write print hello world and that's it that's done so that is the advantages of using python the next step in the process is installing python and to do that what we do is we install a free version of python distribution system okay so for that uh, you can just type anaconda distribution on google and once you have got the search results what you can do is you can click on the first link and then read out the things uh, that it shows up so now it shows that it is for windows uh, if you are using a mac or any other operating system you can install according versions so the python that will be installed here will be python 3.9 and it requires a 64 bit installer right then you need at least a free space of 594 mb but to run it more efficiently you at least need 3 gb of space in your computer now to download it we simply click here and then the download starts once it has downloaded then you can just install it you can either double click in the folder where it is saved or you can do this process also now after this uh, you can just click on next here you can just read this license if case you want to or you can simply click on agree now it is asking install for uh, you can leave the default setting just me and then click on the next button you can uh, see the destination folder here and uh, as i told you it is uh, asking you to have a space of at least 3.5 gb so make sure you have that right now after that this is what it is asking so it is asking that whether you have any other python programs installed earlier so in that case you can select this option so that anaconda distribution works properly so after that you can just click on this install thing and uh, then in a few seconds this anaconda will get installed into your computer so we just wait for that as you can see that it is still getting installed so we gave a couple of more minutes to it depending on the speed or the processor of your system it might take you few seconds to few minutes for this installation to get complete and once it gets completed you will be visiting this type of screen now you can just click on the next button and uh, it is asking you to install another integrated development environment uh, which is not needed for right now because for all the things that we need to do that much is enough so we don't need to install this right now so we just click on uh, next and then we finish up right so once we have finished installing uh, this it might take you to some websites but you can just cross it out and once you have installed the anaconda distribution system so now we just give a check whether the correct things have been installed or not and to do that you type here anaconda prompt right so we need to run this app uh, as an administrator so we right click so sometimes what will happen is the run as administrator option will not come so you can just go onto the file location and when you go there you will see this anaconda prompt section so now you can right click here and select run as administrator so click on yes and then this thing comes up So we type here conda dash sorry conda followed by a space then double dash 
version v a r s i o n and then we select enter so now we see it has returned that code na 4.12.0 version is installed it means our system has installed the correct version to get more information about what all things we have installed we type the command conda dash info and then we select enter and then this is the properties that you have installed so you can see that the conda version is 4.12.0 the python version is 3.9.12.0 okay so this is the environment that we are going to work on now you can see one thing that is written here as base so it shows that we are working in the base environment but for our usage at times we need to change the environment now again i am saying that these things you might be finding a bit difficult because you are hearing it for the first time but after a few lectures these things will become very easy for you so just wait for that time now to see what all packages are there we click and type conda dot list now these are the various list of packages now if i want i can explain you each and every package that is there but that will make the lecture a uh, hell lot boring right and i don't want that so i will teach you each and every thing when it is required to know because if i start teaching everything then you might not get that interested in learning python and i want to give things to you in a shortest possible time with utmost clarity okay so we will learn things when and wherever we encounter and we need to use that so currently you just know how to get a list of packages that are there and for that i have given you a command here i must tell you one thing that there are few packages uh, that are not in this list and that we need in our due course of uh, this time so that will be installed as a third party package uh, for example rasterio geopanda these all things we need to install so i will let you know when and how to install and where to use it so uh, now since we had a look on this uh, packages so we scroll down and uh, we go back to our command prompt section <laughs> So now we need to run our first program and for that we need to go to the command line interpreter system and what foreign term is that you just need to type here python and select enter now you can see earlier you were welcomed with this uh, screen base c windows system 32 python but now you are here on a command line system so here whatever code you will type it will actually run the code once you click on enter so for that uh, we try to write our first program so you can simply write print then in bracket and colon you can just type this this is my first lecture okay so now our code is complete all we have to do is just press enter and if this gets executed it means we have learned our first program very successfully so we click enter here and you see that your code has run okay so if you want to switch from a python interpreter mode to the normal mode you can simply click exit with closed parenthesis and you will come to the base mode okay so this is how simple it is so here python has been installed in integration with the anaconda distribution but python can also be installed as a stand alone version from python.org but since we are going to use it not as a from a programmer's perspective but from the perspective of a civil engineer a water resource engineer and environmental engineers 
so we don't need to go into that much of depth okay so that's why we have chosen a relatively easier option now that's all for the first introductory lecture we will learn more about python we will learn about creating a new environment and we will also learn about about jupiter in the next videos so i hope you like this video if you want uh, to get the notes and associated text which are a little bit important you can check it out on the community section for accessing the community section you can just subscribe it because i will be uploading it two or three days after this because uh, it has some work pending right now so you, if you subscribe you can get a notification of the same and uh, keep liking the video so that i come to know whether it is useful for people or not okay thanks for watching have a nice day